Motrolix. Good day. Alex Luft here with GM Authority and the Metrolix Network. And today we have some brand new spy shots to share with you of a peculiar Cadillac utility vehicle, which just might be the upcoming Cadillac Escalade EV. Now, GM Authority earlier this week shared some news that GM has begun testing an electric Cadillac utility vehicle with three rows of seating and this model would slot above the existing Cadillac Lyric. And the spy shots that we have for you today are exactly of this model. Now, this particular prototype, it is wearing quite a bit of camouflage, so it is covered in this heavy kind of black and white camo, but it's, it's not the vinyl stuff, so at least this one is uh, body hugging. And uh, there are a number of interesting details worth pointing out, starting with the overall profile, which is really a traditional uh, roof profile, meaning that it's not a, you know, doesn't have all that slanty stuff from the Lyric. It's not exactly a crossover coupe. This has a very traditional roof line, uh, which really confirms our reporting from, again, earlier in the week, where we said that the overall shape of this model will be very similar to that of the current Cadillac XT6. And it really is very similar. If you look closely here, you'll see the similarities. Now let's move on to the front. The front end, there's really a couple of elements that are worth pointing out here, starting with the headlights. This particular prototype, it is wearing a set of placeholder headlights with vertical orientations. So this is very similar to the overall headlight orientation that we see on the Lyric. The Lyric, of course, has uh, the daytime running lights as well as the primary headlights in the vertically oriented strips on either side of the front fascia. This prototype seems to have much of the same or, or very similar setup. There's also an air intake at the bottom end of the front end and uh, this really suggests that this vehicle is a bottom breather, something that I actually call a bottom breather. I'm not quite sure if that's industry terminology or not. But essentially, uh, what this configuration from an, uh, an air intake standpoint, what this configuration suggests to me is that we are looking at an EV because that upper grill, it does appear to be completely closed off and only that lower part of the front fascia is open and does contain the grills. Let's move on over to the side where we see a similar mirror setup as what is used on the Lyric. So there's that same kind of pedestal style mounted mirror and uh, there's also kind of a similar rake to the A-pillar as well. And with both of those items, the, the treatment of the mirror as well as the rake of that A-pillar, what we see is that the shape of those front windows, they also appear to be very similar to, uh, to what we see on the Lyric as well. In fact, this prototype also has that same uh, small vanity window at the forwardmost end uh, of the, uh, the front windows. There's also a set of flush door handles that keep that profile extra slippery and also high tech. There's also a charge port on the driver's side front fender, or at least something that appears to be a charge port in that area. And uh, to me, that simply uh, really leads me to conclude that this is in fact an EV rather than a vehicle powered by an internal combustion engine. So there is that. We also see a rather upright and boxy rear window section, which really goes hand in hand with uh, what I mentioned earlier about the profile of this prototype being more traditional in nature uh, rather than kind of having a slopey kind of uh, treatment to it like the Lyric. And so that really indicates that this is really meant to maximize room rather than you know maximize or really optimize for uh, styling and design related parameters. There's uh, a set of split spoke alloy wheels with uh, a kind of a silver and black finish. 
that's what this prototype is riding on. And if we look closely at the top of this prototype, what we also see is a uh, kind of a, either a glass roof or a dual pane sunroof as well. Moving around to the rear, what we'll see is a relatively healthily sized uh, rear overhang, which to me, again, indicates that this is more of a utilitarian vehicle uh, where engineers and designers are simply optimizing the uh, the entire uh, structure and the, the space in the vehicle for, for space, again, rather than for stylistic purposes like in the Lyric. And if you look very closely at the rear, you'll see that there are no visible exhaust outlets. There's uh, no through fascia treatment uh, as far as the exhaust outlets go. And there are also uh, no exhaust outlets or tips that are tucked under the vehicle. So again, lending more credence to the notion that this is in fact an electric vehicle. And then there's also these vertical taillights. Now these are placeholder taillights, just like at the front, we saw the placeholder headlights. These here are uh, placeholder uh, taillights, but check out that orientation. They are vertically oriented. So very similar to what is used from a, at least a shape standpoint or the orientation standpoint, very similar to what's being used on the current present day uh, Cadillac Escalade, the internal combustion engine <clears throat> Escalade. And if we zoom in very closely, I know there's some of you who might be wondering, well, how do you know this is even a Cadillac? Well, beyond the fact that this is using the very vertically oriented uh, uh, headlights and, and placeholder headlights in this case, which have been a hallmark of Cadillac design uh, for the past decade or so, if not longer, and even much more so these days with the likes of the Lyric and the Celestic. Uh, what I can tell you is if you zoom in very closely, what we'll see is this Cadillac badge right here. It's really well integrated. It's camouflaged over really well, but it is there. So yes, this does appear to be a Cadillac unless GM is messing with us and you know they put a Cadillac badge on a non-Cadillac vehicle which I doubt that that's taking place. And uh, then there's this peculiar spot right here which to me it, it at first I thought that this was something missing from the rear end. I thought that there was something that you know maybe a like a rear wiper maybe this was the attachment point for uh, for the wiper at the, for the rear end, the rear window. Now, the more I thought about that, the more I realized that that would be kind of strange because if it actually is a wiper, well, typically Cadillac crossovers and utilities, so XT4, XT5, XT6, as well as the Escalade, all of those have had the rear wiper tucked under and concealed underneath the rear spoiler. And that really resulted in a cleaner look. That's something that Cadillac has been very proud of. Uh, maybe not necessarily very proud of, but it has been kind of a hallmark feature and, and really delivered that nice clean look uh, to the rear uh, glass area. So this all of a sudden would, if this kind of area there uh, that we're talking about here, if this is actually all of a sudden going to mount the, uh, the rear wiper not at the top, not at the essentially uh, beneath the uh, the spoiler at the at the roof end, but if it would mount it right there at the bottom end of the rear glass, that would represent a major departure uh, in terms of the actual treatment of that rear wiper. So to me, I don't think that this is the wiper. So another idea of what this might be is that this is not the wiper uh, attachment point whatsoever, and instead, uh, what this could be is simply the uh, camera assembly or the camera housing for the rear camera mirror. And the rear camera mirror traditionally has used a separate lens, a separate camera uh, versus the actual backup camera. So the backup camera, we do see that this vehicle has a lens or a, or a camera for the uh, the backup camera function that's located right there, right above the license plate. And this piece, it would kind of go in line with what is really, um, what, what would typically be used in the, um, you know, for, for a rear camera mirror setup. So I think that's what we're looking at right there. Now we do have a few interior shots, really only two interior shots 
captured with a very, very long lens. And uh, what we see from these shots are really kind of a curved instrument panel of sorts that, uh, well, really a curved screen that spans both the instrument panel and the center stack as well. A few other things that I'd like to kind of speculate on at this point. First, this, just from a sizing standpoint, this vehicle appears to have three rows of seating. I mean, you look at it, the size can certainly, it seems to certainly suggest that this vehicle can have three rows of seats. So similar to X-T6, similar to the regular length Escalade as well, although this does appear to be smaller than the Escalade, uh, the, the, the current internal combustion engine Escalade. In addition to that, if uh, this is in fact an EV, and again, everything points to this being an EV after all, uh, I do believe that this would use the Ultium drivetrain and uh, likely it will be an all-wheel drive only vehicle, but there is a possibility of a rear wheel drive only model being offered much like uh, on the Lyric there. The Lyric is offered as rear wheel drive with a single motor setup uh, or all wheel drive with a dual motor setup that is more powerful than the single motor setup. So uh, that's the possibility from that standpoint, but definitely what's taking place here is if this is again an EV, assuming that that's the case, then Ultium batteries and Ultium drive uh, motors uh, powering this vehicle. From a timing standpoint, this vehicle, I personally expect it to be revealed sometime before the end of the 2023 calendar year and start of regular production will likely begin sometime during the first half of the 2024 calendar year. So that brings me to kind of the big mystery here. The big mystery being what will this vehicle be and what will it be called? Now, GM has trademarked a multitude of new names for electric Cadillac vehicles over the last couple of years. These being Lumistic, Symbolic, Ascendic, Optic, and there is a possibility that this model will wear any one of those names. That said, there is also a possibility, like I said in the beginning uh, of this video, there is a possibility that this model will simply be called the Escalade IQ. IQ, of course, will be Cadillac's uh, naming nomenclature for electric vehicles. Uh, every one of the names I mentioned, along with Lyric, Celestic, uh, Lumistic, Symbolic, Ascendic, Optic, all of these names, they all have an IQ at the very end. And Escalade, that's one of the vehicles that Cadillac, you know, has legendary status for Cadillac, for GM, and really for the world. So there is really very little reason for messing with that name. So instead of changing the name to something like one of the ones I mentioned, GM has uh, filed to trademark Escalade IQ as well as Escalade IQL. And these, uh, you know, just putting two and two together, these are being earmarked for electric versions of the Escalade for the Escalade IQ and for the Escalade ESV for the IQL, L of course being the, uh, the long version. So let's think for a second, let's kind of focus on the fact that this could be a, uh, an, an electric Escalade, that this prototype is for an electric Escalade, so Escalade IQ. With that kind of you know mindset, what we could do is kind of speculate a bit and say uh, a few things about that. We have heard some very interesting things from GM itself about what they will do with these uh, Escalade electric vehicles. Specifically, GM President Mark Royce has previously um, shared a few words about the Escalade EVs. And um, this quote that I'll, I'll read to you here if I remember correctly, this was uh, made during the most recent GM Investor Day conference. And so this quote particularly stands out to me. And I'm just going to read it to you here. Quote, the wheelbase differences we have today and the size-based differences we have today on our full-size SUVs 
We're going to do it again in a much more innovative way though. You're going to see things here, design, size, platform, sharing wise, but also technology wise, that will be very different from what we execute today. We're pretty much finished with the design and going for production, end quote. So the part of that quote that really caught my attention is the fact that Royce is saying that this is, you know, these full size models, these full size SUVs, they're going to be, we're going to do it again in a much more innovative way. That to me is, is, it's interesting because, you know, you bring the much more innovative, innovative way part of that, you bring that together with what he's talking about, which is the wheelbase differences and the size based differences that we have today. So it seems to me like GM is really rethinking these wheelbase differences, these size based differences for these full size utilities uh, when they go electric. So very interesting. This is a very interesting prototype. Again, the overall shape is similar to that of the XT6, but this might be our first look at the upcoming Escalade Electric or Electric Escalade, uh, which will probably wear the Escalade IQ moniker. More as we get it, Alex Luft for GM Authority and Metrolics.